Hello, everyone, and welcome to VMblog's coverage of VMware Explore 2023, taking place in Las Vegas at the Venetian. And today, we're joined by Missy Young, the Chief Information Officer at Switch. Missy, I know this is our first time speaking uh, in a format like this together, so thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. And I guess to kick things off, uh, you know, for the folks who uh, you know familiar with with VM Blog and watching our videos since we haven't talked uh, specifically together in the past, can you maybe give a quick overview of the company? Of course. So uh, Switch, which who I've been with for about twenty years, uh, we design, build, and operate the world's most powerful data centers, and we run all of them in every location on one hundred percent clean energy. We've actually been one hundred percent sustainable since two thousand sixteen. And uh, we have a the world's largest telecom cooperative that all of our clients are members of. And so typically the cooperative helps our clients save more on telecom than they actually spend on the data center. And the data centers themselves are the highest density data centers in the world. There's 700 patents behind all of our technology. And we service some of the most advanced clients in the world like Microsoft, uh, Dell, VMware, um, NVIDIA, CoreWeave, Qualcomm, et cetera. And so um, these are the best data centers in the world, bar none, and we try to run them in some of the safest places in the country. Pretty impressive. We, this is the first time we get a chance to uh, to hear about your company. So uh, in lieu of uh, VMware Explore, how do you guys partner with VMware and where do you fit into the ecosystem? Sure. So, so VMware and Switch have a, an actually very long symbiotic history together, which is great. You know, we've, we've each been each other's customers and each other's vendors, which is awesome. So uh, right now, today, Switch uses VMware to run pretty much all of its internal corporate systems, including all of the software, the AI software that manages and operates all of our facilities. And so that's a, that's a very mission critical um, process for us. Uh, and so to have a trusted partner like VMware to help us run that is super, super important to us and, of course, to all of our customers. We also have a software program called SwitchDoc that is our customer-facing portal where they can log in and virtually manage their entire deployment at Switch and see all the holistic uh, data around their deployment, such as the power circuit usage and bandwidth monitoring and temperature and exactly what's going on, even all the way down to the asset tags and lifecycle of gear. So we run all that on VMware as well. So uh, super important for us to have the best. And that's what we feel we've gotten with, with you guys as our partner. Now, we're, we're here today, obviously, talking about VMware Explore, the event. And, uh, you know, all the, the folks that are going to be uh, attending there are all VMware shop, uh, you know, and VMware users. What are some of the problems that uh, Switch is solving for those uh, VMware implementations or VMware users? Sure. So, uh, you know, right now I would say, you know, 83% of businesses out there, according to a recent study, are trying to figure out how to fit AI into their business model, whether it's through their products, their services, or their operations, or all three. And what is really interesting behind the scenes is that in order to run generative AI and all of the other wonderful things that everybody's talking about, it has to run somewhere. You have to have physical servers and a data center that can handle that. So what's interesting is just for example, Dell's new eight-way GPU servers that are coming out specifically for AI in a fully configured rack of those servers, each one of those racks is going to require 70 kilowatts per rack. And so in order to power that and cool that, you have to use the most advanced data centers in the world to do that. What customers are finding out right now is, number one, their on-prem corporate data center is not capable of running the new gear that's coming out that has to be chosen in order to do these kinds of generative AI deployments. And so they're they're going, okay, we, we got to get it out of there. And so are we going to put it in the cloud? Or are we going to put it in a co-location data center? Well, even the clouds, the big the big three clouds are not set up yet to do this kind of high density AI um, uh, operation. So they have to they have to morph into this as well. So switch my company, we actually went private at the end of last year so that we could enter into a massive growth phase, uh, which we're currently doing. We are under construction in Las Vegas, Reno, Grand Rapids, Atlanta, and Austin. We are building our data centers as fast as they can because the big AI companies, the core weaves, the NVIDIAs of the world, they are consuming all of the data center space out there faster than we can get it built. 
And so what we are trying to help all of our customers and, and everybody out there understand right now really is if you're not planning right now to close your corporate data center and figure out how you're going to do this within in two years, if you're not planning right now for two years, you're not going to get anything. Because the whole data center industry right now is building as fast as it can to handle this, you know, what they're calling the gold rush of AI. But right now, there's there's not, there's no, there's very little high density infrastructure available anywhere in the country to handle any of these new deployments until all of this stuff gets built. We're selling data centers now, whole entire data centers at, at a time before we even pour the concrete. So our big message right now to everybody is you have to start planning now because this gold rush of AI is gonna consume all of the available infrastructure. Talking about AI and wanting to have it and all that stuff is great, but it's gotta physically run somewhere. There has to be infrastructure to do that. Now, um, you've talked about some of your offerings, but could you give us a rundown of you know, your technology offerings and also kind of give us a deeper dive into some of the technologies behind the scenes that you guys are, are using? Sure, so technically what Switch offers is uptime. Right. That's really what our clients are paying us for is to make sure that those machines are always on no matter what's going on, whether it's, you know, the utility or there's a natural disaster or civil unrest or whatever that is. That's what customers are paying us for. And Switch has a perfect record of uptime in every single one of our data centers since the day the company was founded back in the year 2000. So that's essentially the overview of what we offer. Behind the scenes, how we deliver that uptime is through the most redundantly designed data centers in the world as far as power and cooling goes. And we run it all on 100% clean energy. So you can imagine customers who are using, you know, many, many megawatts of power with us. We are a big part of their ESG reporting because all of the computers that they run at Switch are running on a zero carbon footprint. And with the, the projects that we have in the works right now, we will very shortly be net water positive for the entire company. And so this reflects onto our clients as well. They get to take all of the, the wonderful things that Switch is doing behind the scenes from a sustainability perspective and put it into their own reporting and their own marketing and so on for their investors and their customers, whoever. If they need a, a way to run on clean energy, Switch can absolutely provide that. And at the same time, we can run their deployments at the highest densities in the world because of our patented inventions. And so our CEO, Rob Roy, is a, is a brilliant inventor. And because of him, we have 700 plus patents and patent pending claims on all of the technology that we use to run these very, very high density deployments at scale. So this is a really, this is really a great uh, switches data centers offer our customers the ability to do high density at scale on 100% clean energy with guaranteed 100% uptime in the safest places in the country. Now I wanted to uh, because we, you know, again, I keep going back to this first time we've had the chance to speak, but I wanted to ask you sort of what differentiates you in the market or what makes you unique. But it sounds like. You pretty much covered that. It's, you're talking about uptime and sustainability. Uh, is there anything else that sort of sets you apart from from the, from the pack? Yeah. So, you know, I touched on this a little bit earlier, but uh, all of our clients are members of uh, a buying cooperative in telecom. And so right now, the cooperative represents a little over $7 trillion of combined market cap with all of our clients put together. So what Switch does, the cooperative actually leverages the combined buying power of all of these customers and goes to market on behalf of every customer who needs anything any kind of connectivity anywhere in the world, anything you might buy from a telecom provider, our customers can run it through the cooperative with this massive buying power that we have because we will be going to market on behalf of FedEx and Dell and eBay and PayPal and Disney and anyone else who needs connectivity that month. We're, we're putting these huge requests for connectivity out in the market and getting massive volume-based pricing reductions at a global scale. And so typically we are able to save our customers more money on the data center project than they are, excuse me, and, and than they are spending currently because we're going to reduce their telecom bill significantly. We want to put more money back in their budget than they actually spend with us on the data center. And so we say, hey, you get to use this amazing cooperative. And in return, it's not that we're saying, oh, you have to use our crappy tier two data center with not that great power. And, you know, maybe we'll keep it cool. No, we're going, you get to use the world's largest telecom cooperative. And, re and in return, you get to use the world's best data centers and get 100% uptime and do high density and all of those wonderful things. So it's a win, win, win. 
It's a win for our customers. It's a win for Switch. It's a win for all of our partners who are servicing this client. Because if we can save our customers a whole lot of money on the data center space, that certainly frees up a lot of money in their budget for VMware services, right? So this is a great this is a great way to uh, help our customers do some some really amazing cost reductions, especially for my small to medium sized clients. You know, of course, we have all the big guys, but my small to medium sized clients would never have any buying power on their own. But as part of our cooperative, they have the same buying power as the combination of Google, Amazon, and Microsoft combined. So it's transformative for businesses. And it's really cool to watch that happen, you know, when we when we work with a new customer and they see what we can do for them. Historically at uh, VMware Explore, people have new announcements, new products that they're uh, showcasing. Is there anything that Switch is going to be announcing at VMware Explore? Uh, I don't know if I would say announcing, but we are going to be promoting the fact that we are under construction in five different markets. We are building our data centers just as fast as we can. Uh, to handle um, the boom that's happening, the you know, and we are definitely telling people you've got to plan now for what you're going to do a year and a half, two years from now, or you're not going to get anything because the AI rush is just going to consume it all. So it's it's probably time for a lot of companies to close their corporate data center and figure out what are they going to run in the cloud, what are they going to run in a colocation facility, and how are they going to connect it, and how are they going to connect it intelligently at a good cost. Now, at the show, VMware is going to be taking the, the keynote stage and talking about a lot of the big picture items. Uh, from Switch's perspective, what, what kind of big themes or trends as we head into 2024 is your company most interested in? Uh, the one that we I think we've already been talking about is it's time to close your corporate data center, as well as, um, you know, there's a lot of climate change happening, right? There's a lot more extreme weather going on. And... IT managers are actually really being forced now by that and the need for AI and all of these other uh, in reasons be to look at their corporate data center and to say, number one, you know, can can my data center handle this heat wave that's coming? Right, last year there was a massive heat wave in London that shut down a Google data center and a couple of hospital data centers for a while because their air conditioning units failed. And I would love to say that hey, a heat wave in London that's a fluke that's not going to happen again, but. I, that's not the case. El Nino is now back. They're saying global temperatures in 2023 are going to be pushed off the charts. And so can your data center handle that? And that's kind of forcing IT managers to say, you know what, why are we running our own corporate data center when that's not our core business? You know, if I'm going to do, op if I need open heart surgery, I'm not going to watch a YouTube video and try to do it myself. I'm going to outsource that to an expert because it's too important. It's too mission critical. And downtime, you know, outages for customers are now becoming more expensive and they're becoming more prolonged. And so we can't have outages, right? It's become too damaging to a business for them to have downtime. So as they evaluate all of that, that's where we come in. That's where the entire colocation data center industry comes in. You know, we are going to be taking that burden away from companies as they figure all this out. And, and hopefully it's Hopefully they're not forced to figure it out because of extreme weather. And would it be uh, possible to for people to get a demo of your product? Do you have a, a way that they could do that? Absolutely. So when they come to the conference, we will have a, a very large presence there with a demo on the floor that they can walk through to see what it looks like inside the data center. And also, if they really want to kick the tires, we are going to have uh, buses going back and forth for scheduled tours so they can actually go from the conference to the to switch. And the, the Las Vegas, the campus in Vegas uh, for Switch is actually the world's largest technology ecosystem. And so to go take a tour of that, it is data center Disneyland, and then we'll bring you right back to the conference. So those will be running around the clock during the show. So if customers really want to get an up close and personal look, we are happy to provide that free of charge. And I guess lastly, where can people go if they want to find out more information about Switch and some of the things you talked about today? Yes, they can go to switch.com. And anybody who likes can email me directly, missy at switch.com. Great. Great. Well, it was a pleasure speaking with you and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the show. I can't wait. So nice to meet both of you.